Welcome to this active multimedia conference on additional greenhouse effect. This AMC is short half an hour, based on a mini fresk as a serious game and presented with a slideshow, which is the one you are seeing in this video. It contains interactive questions and online resources to deepen the concepts. It can be exported as a wall in a H5P file and replayed with little preparation. The mini fresque of this short conference is inspired by the Climate Fresk, a serious game of 42 cards chaining based on the IPCC report, The Mechanism of Climate Change. We are going to focus on card number 13 of this fresco, entitled Additional Greenhouse Effect. On the back of this card, we read that carbon dioxide is the main anthropogenic greenhouse gas in terms of emissions coming from our use of fossil fuels and from deforestation. This climate fresh card is enriched by the mini fresh of this AMC with five new cards that describe the greenhouse effect with more details. The aim of this game is to link the cards in a narrative chain. The first card of this mini fresque is called Earth Radiative Budget. Its back explains that Sun irradiates Earth with an average flux of 340 watts per mid square in the visible spectrum. The part that is not reflected warms Earth, which emits back in the infrared spectrum. A part of this infrared radiation is absorbed by the greenhouse gases and a part is re-emitted towards the ground. The second card is called black body radiation. It describes the spectrum of the electromagnetic waves emitted by a black body. Sun at 6000 Kelvin emits in the visible spectrum while Earth, much cooler, emits in the infrared spectrum. The two spectra are well separated. We see that greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide or methane are absorbing in the infrared spectrum but are transparent in the visible spectrum. The other cards of the mini fresque describe radiative budgets with simple model. In the absence of atmosphere, Earth would emit in the infrared spectrum the same amount of flux than the one received in the visible spectrum. The Stefan law relating the black body emitted flux to its temperature leads to a cool Earth at minus 18 degrees Celsius. We build a one layer model in which a fraction beta of the infrared flux E emitted by Earth is absorbed by the greenhouse gases, which emit back half of it to Earth and the other half towards space. By prescribing the equilibria at all levels, the value of the fraction beta induces the values of the flux E and the temperatures. To model the average Earth temperature of 15 degrees Celsius observed during the pre-industrial period, we have to choose a value of beta, telling that about three quarters of the infrared flux E emitted by Earth is absorbed by the greenhouse gases. This means that a quarter of this flux E is not absorbed. If the concentration of the greenhouse gases increases, the fraction beta will be higher and the infrared flux emitted back to Earth will be reinforced, leading to a new equilibrium with a stronger infrared flux E emitted by Earth. For example, a doubling of CO2 up to 600 parts per million ppm would lead to an increase of 5 degrees Celsius in the Earth's temperature. This one-layer model is a simplified description of the greenhouse effect and several images from Internet show radiative budgets combining observation and state-of-the-art models. 
This budget shows a balance between the incoming solar flux and the outgoing fluxes due to an albedo of 30%, the reflected part, and an infrared flux to space. However, some images built to explain the greenhouse effect in a simple manner miss to represent correctly such balance with an incoming flux much higher than the outgoing flux. Even serious internet sites present misleading figures in which the outgoing flux does not balance the incoming solar flux. In some cases, only 35% is given back to space. In other cases, it is 40%. But most of the time, it is less than 50%. An exercise provided in this active multimedia conference is to identify the images with balanced radiative budget. Either in percentage, where 100% of the incoming solar flux is recovered back to space through reflections or infrared emission, or with flux expressed in watt per meter square. Another exercise is to identify various radiation fluxes, such as the incident radiation in the visible range, the radiation reflected with an albedo of 30%, the absorbed black body emission from Earth, the infrared radiation to space, or the radiation responsible for the greenhouse effect. The last exercise relates the average Earth temperature T to its infrared emission E through the Stefan law represented with this graph. Without atmosphere, the balance flux of 240 watts per meter square correspond to an Earth temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the pre-industrial period is 15 degrees Celsius, thanks to the natural greenhouse effect. The doubling of the CO2 concentrations would lead to an increase of 5 or 6 degrees Celsius of the Earth's temperature. 